All right. Um, in this video, I would like to uh, discuss the three phone calls that Stephen uh, made to Teresa's cell phone. Uh, had one at 224, uh, 235, and 435. Okay. Um, and in the November 9th police interview, uh, they, you know, they asked him how many phone calls he had made to her cell phone that day, and he said two or three. Okay, so the 224 call. Okay, I must. That's the call he made, I guess, to see if she was coming or going to be there. Um, which, you know, I, I guess is a legitimate call, which I don't know why he used star 67, but anyway, I'll let that pass. <clears throat> okay, the 235 call is the one that even though I don't think the 435 call makes sense either, but the 235 definitely does not make any sense. Um, could it have been... Okay, you could say the 235 call maybe was the call to check about the, the front end loader, which that wouldn't have made sense, but um, if if it was, if he was going to say that it was a call for the front end loader, really, it couldn't have been, because he says that um, Teresa uh, was there for five minutes. So let's say he calls her at 2:24 to see if she's coming, and given the benefit of the doubt, let's say she got there a minute later, two at 2:25 or whatnot. Okay, Stephen says she stays for five minutes, which I would at least say ten minutes. But let's say he says five, so let's give him five minutes. Okay, so that le has her leaving, has Teresa leaving at two thirty. Okay. Then Stephen says his mom comes up a, a little bit later. Let's say, let's say his mom comes up five minutes after Teresa leaves. That, that has his mom there at 2.35. Stephen says that he calls Teresa about the front end loader after uh, his mom brings up his mail. So that cuts out the 2.35 call being the call about the front end loader. Okay, so it had to be in the 4.35 call that he was uh, talking about the front end loader. So what is the 2.35 call? If the 235 call is another call to see if Teresa's coming, then that even pushes his time way out of whack because in the uh, November 9th interview, if you listen to it, uh, I think it's Wig Wigert's interviewing him, and he says, so Teresa's... Uh, there at 2.30, she stays five minutes, so that has her leaving at 2.35. Stephen's like, no, she was there between 2 and 2.30. Stephen says, more like 5, 10, maybe quarter after. So it doesn't make any sense. It, was, it, was, it would be impossible for her to be there at that time. If so, why would he have called at 2.24 saying, you know, he, he called her to see if she was going to be there that day to make sure she was coming? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, um, the 235 call, what could, where, you know, where does that come into play? I mean, he says he called two or three times. Um, <clears throat> I could see two times, one for the front end loader and one, you know, to see if she was coming, but the 235 call throws his story off. Plus, Teresa's uh, cell phone pretty much goes off the grid at, what, 242, 241? So if she was there at 235, if he called at 235 to see, you know, if, if she had, still hadn't made it there at 235, then she couldn't have left. She wouldn't have had time to get to his property 
and leave before her phone went out like it did. There's no way. So what what's ever what's the theory on that? I mean, the time, his timeline does not make any sense. So I don't know how I don't know where the anybody had any kind of theories about um how he was innocent on on that. Am I missing something? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, she couldn't have been there at before at least 225 because he calls her at 224 to see if she's coming. So there's there's no way. I mean, there's holes everywhere in his story. And people say that his story's consistent, but it's not. It's consistent, but it's consistently consistently uh, wrong. It doesn't make any sense. And uh, I don't know. I mean, to me, it's as plain as anything. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't know. But anyway, if anybody has any uh, input on this, just uh, let me know. But make sure it's legit because, I mean, I've, I've read up on my shit. I know the case pretty well. So, I mean, I want, I want it to be facts, not speculation. You know, if, well, this right here could have happened or this could have happened because it's the facts are what they are. I mean, all you have to do is listen to, like I said, a hundred thousand times, listen to the police interviews and um, listen to Stephen. That's all you have to do. He's the one that is uh, accused. I mean, if listen to him, listen to his stories. So uh, if you can, if anybody knows anything or has a better idea of what happened between those three phone calls I would I would love to know because it just doesn't make sense to me and um, anyway thanks for watching